Okay, backyard barbecue. This is how I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing thick cut ribeye with just a pinch of salt. Now, I saw this method done on the Portugal YouTube channel. I don't know how it's going to taste, but with a pinch of salt and a good ribeye, it should be amazing. All right. Now, before you go run into the comment section saying that's not enough salt to make a good ribeye, just watch the whole video first. And never been, I've never done this before. Actually, I saw this on the Spanish YouTube. I was watching a a girl make a, I think it was grilled pineapple or something, and behind her there was a chef cooking steak on the grill, and all he was doing is putting a little pinch of salt on the steak. Flipping it over, putting another pinch of salt on it, and then plating it up. All right, let's see how this works, folks. Just a pinch of salt. We got the old Weber smoke fire fired up. Like this, it's just a ribeye, folks. 500 degrees. I don't know. Look at that beautiful ribeye. You ain't getting that at no market plate or at no wall plate from Walmart. <laughs> Beautiful marble. I don't know what temperature he was cooking at though. So I got this set at 500. That's about a good grilling temperature. Pretty thick. That's a good inch and a half. We're gonna go. Let's go six minutes per side. Six eight minutes. Let's go do eight minutes. All right. We're gonna slap that right on there. No oil, no other seasoning, just the ribeye, right out of the package, all right? Now we'll go get my salt, where I put my salt. All right, just a pinch of salt, folks. There you go. Think that's too much salt? I don't know. We're gonna go four minutes, rotate, four minutes, flip. Okay, we'll be back in four minutes, folks. All right, guys, it's been four minutes. We'll rotate it. Then we'll flip it, put another pinch of salt on it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, it's been four more minutes. We'll flip it. Another pinch of salt. Four more minutes, rotate it, and we'll see how, how it tastes. I don't think with that little pinch of salt that it's going to taste very salty, but hey, I never knock a recipe till I try it. I don't know, it looks like too much salt to you guys, folks. I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. Be right back in four minutes. Alright guys, been four more minutes. A little rotator. I, know, I still don't think that's enough salt, but apparently over in Spain they don't use pepper because at least I didn't see them put any pepper on, just a little pinch of salt. Alright, we'll be back four more minutes and we'll see what it would taste like. See if it's salty or not. Hey I'm Scotty's backyard barbecue. I like showing you guys different ways to cook stuff. Anybody can throw a ribeye on there and flip it around, that ain't no fun. Let's try new things. Make barbecue fun, folks. Or today, grilling fun. Be right back, four minutes. Hi right, guys, it's been the last four minutes. Let's take a temperature reading. Let's go off, folks. Add a little bit of salt. Now what they did do is they knocked it all off though. All right. Well breaking your steak all up. Wow. 
Wow. That is one tender steak, though, folks. I'll bring you over here. We get a load of this beauty. Get a load of that beauty, folks. We're gonna let it rest before we cut into her. You can see there's a little bit of salt left on it. Most of it did come off. So we'll see. We'll let that rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We'll be right back, folks. Been 15 minutes. We'll give it a try. Hey guys! Want to try steak with Grandpa? Uh huh. You tell me what you think if it tastes good or not. Let me give you part of the center here. There you go. You try that one, grandson. Grandpa, try this one. What's it taste like to you? Pretty good. With your thumbs up. Sorry, folks. It's excellent. Just make sure you knock it all off, all the salt off. Now, would you grill steak like this all the time? No. But it's fun to try something different. Not too salty. Just perfect. Pretty good, huh? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Want to try more? Um, happy? No? Put okay. them perfect to medium, rare, perfect. Wow. Mm. That is one good steak, folks. Mm -mm -mm. So you know this guy's backyard barbecue. For barbecuing is a way of life, folks. We like to try stuff different. Could use a little peppermint. Not salty. Got a little salt taste, but not overly powered with salt. Most of it fell off when you knock it off. Alright, thanks for watching this episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue.